welcome here. It's going to do one thing. We've got to go and close the door. Full stop. Good morning. Welcome uh, here. I hope you're fine and well this morning. Uh, welcome to morning prayer. Um, here on the uh, 14th, so I need to look at my, my, my screen to see what the date is, on the 14th of April. Um, hopefully you've had a peaceful weekend where you've enjoyed the sunshine. It's a, again a little bit cooler today, but we haven't got the really cold breeze, so or the cold wind. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a really fine day. Um, um, I just posted the liturgy on the on the on the Facebook page or a link to it. So if you want to join in, please do. I think you might need to do it on a, like I do on a, a different device if you're able to, uh, or just join in as you see fit and as you wish. Um, it's it's really great to um, and a privilege to be able to do this um, this morning. I'm just looking at some of the, the links as well on on the Facebook page. In particular, there's a link to Spring Harvest. Some of you and, and I have been on Spring Harvest before, um, usually down in Minehead. Uh, it's, it's a great it's a great week um, to go along to loads and loads of things going on. And they are doing everything online on YouTube as well. So there's loads and loads of resources, loads and loads of videos. That you can uh, you can watch you can kind of indulge in for all ages, uh, worship and teaching and information and things for children, uh, things for uh, big children, uh, and and there's just so much there which um, which you should really, really do to explore. Um, so morning, morning. We're we're going to. Um, a bit we're going to say some prayers someone sent me a message and they were very very right um about people that we say thank you for so um what i'm going to ask you to do for those that, that you're joined now and we can only really do this live um but on the comments through through the service can you please uh, write down just put a key worker just somebody that you see as a key worker. When I when I do the prayers, there are prayers which we said yesterday, which are, are written for this outbreak, uh, and they do kind of talk about health workers who are, as we know, uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and then I make something up about the other key workers, and I mention key workers, and of course um, I mention some of those that are on my mind, but there will be many. Actually, that um, that are quite unseen, who we don't, I don't always recognise. So please, if you're able to, uh, on the comments, I'm pointing there because that's where I can see the comments. Can you just write down some key workers? And when we come down to the to the to the prayers, uh, I will scroll through them and I scroll through the comments, which might look slightly different for prayers. Um, but we'll give thanks, and I'll just call, I'll, I'll just read those comments of those key workers, um, remembering um, the ones that were mentioned to me. Um, so it's going to be a little bit interactive. Unfortunately, we can't um, we we can't uh, we can't all, well, we can call out actually we can call out because God will hear it. Um, but if you could in the comments page, going through the service, write down a key worker, and then when we come to the intercessions later. I will um, I will mention them. Okay, so it doesn't need to be names; just a kind of generic thing. Supermarket workers, vets. So morning prayer for today, Tuesday the fourteenth. We're still in Easter. So Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, 
So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to, to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and might. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 112. Alleluia. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, a generation of the faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house and their righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the dark for the upright. Gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. It goes well with those who are generous in lending and order their affairs with justice, for they shall never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil doings. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. So I missed a bit out there, sorry. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands fast forever. Their head will be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. Generous God, Save us from the meanness that calculates its interest and hoards its earthly gain. As we have freely received, so may we freely give. In the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Okay, we have the song of Moses and Miriam. In your unfailing love, O God, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your hand, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to, do, to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. A reading from uh, Paul's letter, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning to read at verse 12. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 12. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised, and Christ has not been raised, and if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain, and your faith has been in vain. We are, e we are even found to be misinterpreting God, because we testified of God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then, then those also who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all people most be pitied. So I said that again. It is <laughs> if for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all of people most to be pitied. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul is definitely questioning the, um, some of the things that the, the church in Corinth might have said or heard or might be proclaiming. Uh, or, and he's definitely not questioning Christ. He's questioning the, the church at that time. Um, we will hear more, which is probably a bit more uh, positive, And he reaffirms that resurrection. have this response. Death is swallowed up in, in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. We're now going to come to a time of intercession. And as I mentioned before, um, you may have been with us at the start, I missed the first bit. Uh, in the comments, if you could, and I'm going to scroll down the comments, and, uh, if you could just write down the name some key workers that you would like to give thanks for then uh, be most appreciative brilliant We've got some here yes 
fantastic people that um, people that indeed uh, I miss out people that I forget thank you ever so much brilliant so it, it, as I do the prayers and I will come um, I will come sorry I'm just reading the muscle going along um, when I come to the bit later I will use those uh, and we will kind of give thanks and um, pray for all of those who are keeping things going supporting us and uh, trying to maintain some normality in the things that we come to um, kind of depend on uh, I would say actually I was speaking to a colleague in the council yesterday who is works in mental health and she was saying how how much she she gave one example of um, refuse collectors and she said in she said how much they have been lifted by the messages of support by the messages of thanks and for what people have done just leaving a message on their bin or um, acts of kindness and acts of thanks so this kind of gratitude that perhaps we're giving each other is a mark I believe a mark of the type of resurrection that Archbishop Justin was talking about something being born something new perhaps we will now appreciate the, the work of so many people perhaps we will appreciate the work of each other and be less likely to take people for granted and a lasting legacy from this um, tragedy from this nightmare would be um, perhaps we will appreciate those around us that are doing so much perhaps sometimes and uh, it's very biblical so it comes to me quite often very biblical how the last shall be first and the first shall be last and sometimes those who have been considered to be last have been the ones that we have neglected um, not just um, in, as individuals but perhaps as a nation now perhaps we appreciate some of those people who before we might have considered to be last now they they are royalty so let's pray let us by prayer and intercession with thanksgiving make our requests to God gracious God we pray for peace justice and reconciliation throughout the world we pray for the honouring of human rights, for the relief of the oppressed, and we give you thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for Lee and Viv, our bishops, for Neil, and Christopher our archdeacons and we pray for the life of our parishes we pray for St Margaret's we pray for St Mary Magdalene for St Leonard's and Colview we pray for each other Lord we give you thanks for the gift of your word for the grace of the sacraments and the fellowship of your people and we pray dear father that we will be together again uh, physically soon lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for this local community wherever we may be we pray for our community our town our county our country and our world and we pray for all people in their daily life and work we pray for the young and the elderly for families and all who are alone and isolated at this time we give you thanks for human skill courage and dedicate um, dedication and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness and dear Father, this day, 
we especially give thanks and pray for all those key workers, all those people that are doing so many things. We pray for postal workers. We pray for all those working in the background for the NHS, for all those working in supermarkets. So we give thanks for Crystal who works in the post in, as a postal worker. And we pray for uh, Kate's son, Kevin, working in the background in the NHS and his fiance, Emma, working so hard uh, in the supermarkets to help us to be uh, fed. We thank you, dear Father, for all those people working in those places. We thank you for those working in network rail and lorry drivers, keeping things moving around the country. Uh, often in the quiet of night or uh, unseen, they are going about their business, making sure that we are all fed. We pray for bank workers and all those that are going into work to, to ensure that, we, we, that our, our banks and our, our money is looked after. We pray for vets, Lord. As we think of health workers and all those that are keeping us healthy, we also give thanks for our pets and those that keep us company, but of course, uh, those that we love so much, but also they need to be looked after as well. And we thank you for their dedication. We thank you for their commitment. We thank you for all those in the NHS and we give you thanks for the NHS. And we give you thanks for all those that make it up, which they are the treasure. And um, we give you thanks, Lord, that they will be seen in a different way now um, we, with more gratitude. We pray for prison officers. We pray, dear Father, for those that are looking after those uh, prisoners, those whom we might kind of sometimes look down upon, but actually those that are offering us protection, but also they're offering, still offering care to those in there who are, who are there in prisons. They have to go into work. We pray for teachers and carers, for delivery drivers, utility workers, for the police, for the funeral directors, we pray for all those involved in the food chain, uh, from, from the farm to the supermarkets that get to our cupboards and fridges, to those that are in the NHS, yeah, from cleaners through to doctors. So many that are doing so much. We do pray for uh, clergy. Pray for those that are... Um, preaching your word at this time, so many people. And of course, Lord, as um, care homes are under the spotlight, especially today, we pray for those who are working with the most vulnerable of our society, for those that are working um, to offer care to those who as it says in our blessings, the autumn, or indeed maybe the winter of their lives, uh, the twilight of their years, maybe, who are, in love, who are being the family of those that are uh, isolated at this time. Lord, I pray, Lord, for those that are working in, in our councils, um, both borough council and parish councils, those that are supporting the vulnerable and supporting each other. And we pray for the refuse collectors and we pray for um, those who are just keeping things going, for those that are offering support at this time. And I pray for my colleagues in the community health and wellbeing team who are uh, organising uh, medicines and food for the vulnerable. Pray for those who are working with those in housing. We pray for those that are um, fulfilling his work in the citizens advice who are helping people that are in unbelievable situations at this time. We give you thanks, Lord, for all of those that are contributing so much to our world. We give you thanks and praise for them. But we also pray for all of them for protection. We also pray for them, Lord, that they will, when they go to work today, or when they come home today, they will find health and security. And when this is all past, Lord, we pray, dear Father, that they will be celebrated, that they might be honoured that they will be seen in a different way and that we will see each other in different ways 
and that Lord this is a lesson for us and perhaps this is a judgment on the way that we have treated those in our society and we pray dear father that we will learn from this and that we will honor people in a better way Lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for those who are in need we pray for those who are sick sorrowful and bereaved we pray for those who are suffering in body mind or spirit for the isolated and the alone and we pray for all who bring comfort care and healing we give you thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives and in a moment of quiet you might like to raise before God those whom are on your hearts perhaps those whom you um, love but are not able to see at this moment those whom you have concerns for those whom you would like to lift before God just in a moment of quiet Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Collect for today. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory. To whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let's share the church prayer with one another. May the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Help us to be a blessing to each other and our communities, that your ways may be known among us. Let all the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you for your contributions to the intercessions. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I'm really sorry if I did miss, and I'm sure I did miss key workers. I'm sure that, and um, there are just so many, and I do apologize if I miss out um it's only showing me a certain number of comments and they start halfway through um, no they don't they're fine thank you for joining me this morning and uh, i'm i'm really really looking forward to the the time when we're back together again i think it's going to be um it's going to be amazing and i think we're all going to really enjoy it and I think we will all actually, um, that first time that we break bread and share wine together will be very, very special. And um, every time we break bread and share wine together again, I think is special, but I think will be even more poignant and even more special um, than it, we will we'll recognize its specialness. Um, even more than we did before so may god bless you and keep you this day i hope you stay well and i hope you stay safe um and um 
Uh, if by the way, if you did pray for Boris, uh, make sure you or, or anybody that you know that has, has um, where prayers have been answered. Um, we need to say thank you, and um, I, I do. I do thank God. Six months ago, I think many people wouldn't be praying for Boris, but we did, and God answers prayer. God is good, um, so we need to give. I think we need to give thanks. So uh, God bless you and keep you. I give you. I give thanks for all of you, and uh, and I look forward to when we're together again. So I'm blabbering on. Have a great day.